Good morning, good morning everybody. Um, I came on here to, to share some good news with you guys. Um, a couple of things. Well, one's good news and one's I'm just trusting in the Lord and I wanted to share that with y'all. Um, one of them is basically um, sort of an update with Cheyenne. Um, she is doing better still in school overall but she's still getting into a bit of trouble um, mostly minor things like her teacher said you know if she had them had Cheyenne and the other kids changed their card for every little thing um, there she said there's basically just not enough colors in the rainbow for that um, before getting a a behavior document and everything and she showed me I think it was it Friday or Thursday she showed me uh, some of Cheyenne's classwork that she just wasn't following directions and um, just her behavior she feels like is starting to affect that um, affecting her schoolwork and I shared that with Kirk, and I told him about that. And I think in a roundabout way, he is either avoiding uh, the fact that Cheyenne might have a little bit more trouble than other kids, that she may even have ADHD or anything like that. And I can understand why he's doing it. Um, he's afraid that um, he'll be or that we as parents would be pushed to giving her medication that he doesn't want to give her um, that snapped to all the like I said the only reason he considered it was because it doesn't have side effects and and you don't have to have um, a prescription for it and things like that um, it has helped she's you know overall gotten better but like I said she's still having some trouble and some struggles and it's affecting her school work well his solution for it is to pull her out of school and put her into another school um, our good lady of counsel or something like that it's a catholic school and um, the thing about it that has me concerned is anyone who knows kids in general even without ADHD they need structure they need um, familiarity and things like that um, I'm sure if any of you remember or have kids, you know, you know that anytime they have a substitute or anytime, you know, they start in a new school with a new teacher and things like that, someone new, um, an authority over them, that they tend to try to test that person and see how far they can get. Cheyenne has been doing that when she has other substitutes, um, other than her substitute, Ms. Stoffel. She's tried to test them and had been a little bit more rowdy and things like that and hard-headed with them. Um, and my grandmother and I discussed this. We both agree that it would probably be more damaging to put her all in a brand new environment, brand new teachers, brand new students, and this, that, and the other. And I'm really concerned also because I, Kirk says so it's like my parents he says he's not racist or anything like that but the way he the way he feels um seems to indicate differently and that really bothers me because i'm i'm just not that way i feel differently towards the girls and the kids that cheyenne's had come over there to the house um in spite of all their faults and this, that, and the other, um, I feel like even if Cheyenne was, let's basically, let's put it this way, Kirk feels like it's because she's in a primarily all-black school. And I told him, well, the two kids, the two students that Ms. Doffel's having the most trouble with are the two white girls, our daughter and the other one. And he says that he feels like they're you know, going to be acting, getting more of that black mentality is how he put it, um, and, and acting more that way to try to fit in. Um, 
I, I myself feel differently. I feel like even if she is pulled out of this school and put into another school, not only because of the reasons that I gave, but just it, it's not going to solve the problem. She's still going to have trouble in school. She's still going to have trouble with her behavior no matter where she's at. Um, so <clears throat> my thing is I'm trusting the Lord in this situation. Um, because I don't want it to become an argument between him and I on this because we can't um, find a compromise and agreement in this. Um, he feels like I'm just going to keep finding something wrong um, with no matter what he says and you know I'm kind of feeling the same way. So I'm kind of leaving it up to God and I feel like this you know well <clears throat> if it's God's will that then it's you know it's gonna work for her good um, you know God does does work for the the good of those who love him and then if it's not his will then he's gonna close all the doors and it's not gonna work out anyway we don't know how much it's gonna cost and that might be one of the doors it closes it's not being able to financially um, put her into this school anyway so I'm just trusting God in that situation and um, and just letting you know whatever happens happen um, the other thing is the good news and I want to end with the good news um, is the next couple of days I'm going to be really busy and I'm just taking a few minutes out to share all this with you guys because the next few days I may not be able to make a video or or be online all that much either because today I've got to spend uh, getting ready for this uh, conference coming up the next couple days um, it's with the Arkansas State Hospice Care Center and they've called and invited me several weeks ago to um, go and set up a table with my Avon stuff and sell my Avon stuff there as a vendor and um, the reason I feel like it's a God thing was not only you know they contacted me about it but they usually charge four hundred dollars for someone to go and do this um, but they have set up with a contract and everything assigned and, and sent out the contract already so that's done um, that I will only have to pay 10% of whatever I make. Um, so I have to do kind of like inventory thing with that and um, with them and pay them to the 10% of whatever I make. Um, and it is in a contract and everything so um, they can't turn around and, and change their mind or whatever. Um, which makes it possible for me to be able to do it. If it was the 400, I would have been a, I would have to have turned it down. It wouldn't have worked. So again, like I said, I feel like you know God was in this situation and, and everything. Um, there's also going to, there's expected to be about 250 people there. So I'm thinking this is a great opportunity to. to you know get more customers and things like that and um, even if less than half of them um, put in an order or you know get a book for me and things like that then that's that's that'll be a big help for me um, really good uh, customer base there so basically what I'm gonna be doing today is getting clothes done <laughs> that I'm going to need and that Cheyenne's going to need the rest of this week. Um, and then, because I want to dress up, you know, kind of professionally. Get my bath and, you know, things like that. Set, you know, put the stickers on my books and get my books and things like that ready. And my mom's going to take me. It's going to be from, I'm going to try to be there about 9 o'clock after I get her to school. I have just enough time to get over here, get dolled up and get ready, makeup on and all that and get over there and then about 1.45 take them down my table and get over there to pick up Cheyenne for the next couple of days. So I'm going to be a busy, busy girl. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope y'all have a blessed week and I'll let you guys know how everything went when things start to slow down a little bit 
because after that, I also have a meeting at the for Avon, so 